First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwatash. Next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, who teach and who rule well. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akim. Keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith regardless of whether people hear or forbear. And uh, this this uh, lesson today is just going to be on planting seeds. Okay. Planting the seeds for Salaki. Uh, Salaki. Lost my train of thought for a sec. But um, <clears throat> husbandry. Planting seeds. Planting the word in, in the minds of the people. Okay. To activate the elect and to mark the two thirds. Um, so we're just going to read right into it. Okay. This is uh, coming out of the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3. I'm going to go ahead and get started. It says, And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Hamashiach. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto ye were not able to bear it, neither yet now are ye able. For ye are yet carnal. For where is there is among you envying and strife and divisions? Are ye not carnal and walk as men? And the reason why he's talking, he's saying this because when you when you start to walk after the Spirit, it changes you. It tells you in um, Isaiah chapter eleven, I believe, it tells you that the Lord will make you of quick understanding, and neither will you will neither um, you neither judge after your eyes what your eyes see or nor after what your ears hear. As a matter of fact, let's just get that. Go ahead and bring that out. So Isaiah chapter eleven, because the it tells you in uh, I think I think First Corinthians chapter one that the spiritual, the uh, the uh, natural man cannot understand the things of the spirit. But first, I'm gonna get this real quick. Isaiah chapter eleven. <clears throat> so spiritual discernment here is what it's speaking of. Um, let me see. Okay, yep, it's right here Isaiah chapter 11 verse 3 Actually, I'm going to start at verse 2 And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him The spirit of wisdom and understanding The spirit of counsel and might The spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord And shall make him of quick understanding In the fear of the Lord And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes Neither approve after the hearing of his ears But with righteousness shall he judge the poor And reprove with equity for the meek of the earth and he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. Okay, but but this is uh you know going back into this right here, this is what he's talking about. You know, people who are carnal are still they're still uh, in the mindset of the world. Okay, they you know they're still judging things from the mindset of the world. They're not judging things spiritually. You know, they judge by uh, height, stature. You know, uh, how much money someone has. Which is all just a bunch of nonsense. Okay, none of it really matters, um, and and that that all that that blocks their understanding from from understanding the scriptures because the scriptures are spiritually discerned. The Holy Spirit has to uh, has to give you the understanding. That's the reason why he's talking about feeding with milk right here. Okay, because uh, those who are, are spiritual babies, you know, they they can't handle the strong meat. So he's just talking about feeding them with milk, and then. You know, as as they spiritually grow, they'll start to desire the meat, and then you could bring out the, the strong meat of the scriptures. You know, the deeper prophecies and all that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna keep reading. It says, "So he's saying, are ye are ye not yet are you yet carnal, and walk as men?" Verse four: For while one saith, "I am of Paul," and another, "I am of Apollos," are ye not carnal? Who then is Paul, and who is Apollos? But ministers by whom ye believed, even as the Lord gave to every man. So <clears throat> he's talking about um like I am of Paul and another I am of Apollos. He's saying that's that's very carnal thinking because we're all one body in in uh, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. The same, you know, the same. Uh, even though, for example, even though um one of us may have been one of us uh, may have been brought into the truth by hearing the words of Anatazakba, you know, GMS South Carolina, another one. Maybe have heard the words of Elder Hawad, you know, GMS North Carolina is still the same Holy Spirit, the same power, you know, how about me, I'm shy, that gathered, okay? So it says, for, one, for while one saith, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos, are ye not carnal? 
it's, it's a carnal way of thinking. It's bigger. It's bigger than the men, you know. And that's uh, you see that you see that with um, with uh, IUIC and some of these other groups, ISUBK. They you know they they almost worship their leaders, you know, and they're not. They don't give enough. They don't give reference to, uh, reverence to, you know, Yahweh Shai and and the Rakakwa Dash, because that that's where the, that's where the increase really comes from. If you're in this truth. Is you're in this truth through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, and you know only. And I just want to say this: only Great Millstone has the 100% truth according to the Bible. Okay, but you know we're all speaking of of uh, of one mind. Okay, all one body and all one spirit, which is the body and spirit of Yahweh Shai, the spirit of prophecy. I'm gonna go keep reading though. Verse five. It says, "Who then is Paul?" And who is Apollos, but ministers by whom ye believed. So that's all they are, just ministers, right? Even as the Lord gave to every man. He says, I have planted, Apollos watered, but Yahweh gave the increase. Okay. So no matter, you know, no matter um, who planted, who watered, the increase in the spirit, the flood of the spirit comes from Yahweh. Okay. And uh, that, that brings me to that brings me to mind. Uh, let me get this John six and forty four. That's what that brings to my mind because John six and forty four it tells us that no man can come to the Father <clears throat> unless he was he was drawn. So it says John six and forty four. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him. And I will raise him up in the la at the last day. Okay, and part of then you know he just uses us as his conduits, if you will, his his oracles, uh, to 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 speak that word, as he did in past times. Okay, he just uses the the prophets, which is the, the men of the elect, we're of the hopeful elect, to bring out the scriptures and activate activate those that are meant to hear the messages. Okay, and draw and be drawn into the heavenly Father through His only begotten Son. So it says, so then neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth, but the most high that giveth the increase. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one. And every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. Right? So he that planteth and he that watereth are one because we're all moving through the spirit of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. It says, for we are laborers together with Yahweh. Ye are Yahweh's husbandry. Ye are Yahweh's building. Okay, we are the temple of the Lord. According to the grace of Yahweh, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another build, buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed now he buildeth thereupon. How he buildeth thereupon, Salakia. Okay, so essentially <clears throat> what he's saying here is that no matter what gifts we were given, you know, we use those all through the power and spirit of Yahweh, Bashmi, Shai, whether. And there's another uh, chapter that talks about this. Salaki. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but um, but, you know, we use the gifts that were given as one body. You know, everybody can't be the head. Everybody can't be the eyes. Everybody can't be the the, the fist. Everybody can't be the feet. You know, Yahweh Bashmi Shai gives us all different abilities uh, for His will, for His work. Okay, verse eleven. For other foundation can no, for other foundation can no man lay. Then that is laid, which is Yahusha Mashiach. Now, if any man build upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest. For the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. Okay, so <clears throat> when, when the hard times come, it's going to be revealed. If every man works, if every man's work abide which he hath built thereupon, he shall get, receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss. But he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. Know ye not that ye are of the, the temple of the Most High? The spirit of Yahweh dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of Yahweh, him shall Yahweh destroy. For the temple of the Most High is holy, which temple ye are. <clears throat> okay, so. And that's uh. Just talking about, you know, destroying your, your body. Okay, if you destroy your body with drugs, drugs, uh, being a drunkard, you know, 
uh, committing us uh, fornication, which is not which is not quote unquote sex before marriage as the world calls it, but but um <clears throat> a, a, a loose uh, illicit sexual acts, you know, bestiality, homosexuality, sleeping with another man's woman. These are acts of fornication. Okay, uh, let's see. It says, If any man defile the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy. For the temple of Yahweh is holy, which temple ye are. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in the world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. And why is that? Because the wisdom of this world is foolishness to the Most High. Okay. The wisdom of this world is foolishness to the Most High. I believe in 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Uh, First Corinthians chapter one it talks about how the Lord has chosen the uh, the foolish to confound the the wise and the feeble to confound the mighty. Okay, so this this you know the Lord he doesn't he's not choosing you know he's not choosing the nobles he's not he's not choosing the scholars he's choosing chosen common men to bring out his word right and to confound those that think they have all the knowledge. <clears throat> so it says. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High, for it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. Therefore, let no man glory in men, for all things are yours. Whether Paul, or Apollos, or Cephas, or the world, or life, or death, or things present, or things to come, all are yours, and ye are Hamashiach's, and Hamashiach is Yahweh's. Okay, so... <clears throat> Lord willing, this is a quick one. Lord willing, this was edifying to the elect wherever you may be scattered across the four corners of the earth. With that being said, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakwadash, DTA, and the Baba Ball. Shalom.